Hey guys, welcome to the yet another session on Microsoft Dynamics 365 Finance and Operations. Uh, in today's session, we are going to see how to create a trial environment, a free trial environment. Uh, so many people has asked or search online whenever they like, if they are learning, they search for trial environment so that they, so that they can do practice and all that stuff. Or some customers or some like prospects, they try to, you know, dig around the product and see what it has and what they can do with the product. So today uh, we are going to create a new trial environment from scratch and we'll see what it takes. So I haven't done it uh, like earlier, no preparations or nothing. So if something goes wrong, uh, so just bear with me. Uh, so agenda for today or prerequisites, or prerequisites that we need for this session is you need a Azure subscription. And good news, good news is you can create a free subscription. And Microsoft is generous to give you like one month free trial or one month credit and 12 month free trial for various services. So we'll use that. And you need a work email. With work email, what Microsoft means is you cannot use Gmail or Microsoft personal accounts. You need to have a, your own domain and email account. So for that, you can purchase a new domain and like GoDaddy gives you a free email as well. Um, for this session, I have my personal email with Google G Suite where I do all my stuff. So we'll see if it works or not. And then we'll create a free trial for finance and operations. And the last thing we'll do, we'll create a Azure DevOps project, link it with lifecycle services project. So for the guys who don't know about the product or uh, how it works, so the Dynamics 365 Finance and Operations comes with lifecycle services. This is a tool or a portal that allows you or that helps you to maintain the product, create new, uh, create new environments, or uh, deallocate and delete those environments. So all the, that kind of stuff, management or administrative stuff for your environments goes through the lifecycle services. You don't create your environments directly in Azure. You always work with uh, work against a lifecycle services project. And Azure DevOps project is needed if you want uh, if you want to create build servers, if you want to host or host your repository on DevOps, that's a requirement. You need to have a DevOps repository that should be uh, not Git, but the TFS or Visual Studio version control uh, type of DevOps repository. So, and let's go ahead and let's start the demo. So in order to create a free, uh, free Azure account, what you can do is you can always go, go to azure.com. That will take you to your country's uh, Azure, portal, uh, Azure portal. And here you will see a, a option to create a free account. Just hit on free account. And uh, based on the country from where you logging in, so for, for example, here it says, uh, I get 12 months of free services, various services. And the credit they're giving is my, like $200 credit for one month for 30 days. And for our R&D and all that stuff, this is more, this is more than enough for us. Um, some of the services are free for 12 months. And yeah, just go through this thing and they'll show you like, oh, what, do we, what do you get with these free services? Like, and this is really great, like SQL database, uh, 250 gigs, so that's good. Blob storage for five gigs, five uh, file storage. And you can create this type uh, B1S VM uh, that can run 24 hours, 24 hours for 12 months. And this thing is free as well. Uh, so that's it. Um, so once you're done with the, uh, so just go ahead and start your free, start creating your free uh, Azure account and subscription. Yes, you need a credit card and trust me, Microsoft is not going to charge you anything. Uh, just keep an eye on your usage and billing. So as long as you are less than $200 in these 30 days trial period, you should be good. Okay, so uh, uh, I assume you have created the account. So I have already created an account. So uh, and when you create an Azure account and Azure subscription, you get Azure Active Directory as well. So I have Azure Active Directory uh, set up as well. And search online for if you if you if you don't know what how AAD or Azure Active Directory works. So just there are plenty of uh, 
free material online that will help you create that stuff. So uh, once you have your Azure subscription and Azure trial and everything, uh, Azure yeah, trial in place, uh, next step is we are going to create a trial, uh, Microsoft Dynamics trial application or trial environment. So if you, want, if you are new to Microsoft Dynamics, it's a business application suite, comes with various applications for depending on your need for sales, uh, for sales, for customer service, field service, so, so many, uh, they have so many offering. They, have, they also have a retail. If you want to do something like Walmart, Walmart or that kind of inf uh, implementation. But for today's uh, demo, what we are going to do is we are going to uh, create a trial environment for finance and operations. So select finance and operations here and provide your work email and your uh, phone number. Hit start so they are going to verify uh, your identity uh, using a, a phone number so I'm going to use my phone number here and that should be India and let's see I'm checking my phone if I receive any SMS from them? No code so far. I'm not sure if it's my uh, cellular connection or let's try again. Yeah, 91, text me. No code. Okay, I got the code. So it's let's see if it works. Sign up. So did you get your email address from your company? So it says uh, Microsoft Dynamics operation is designed to be used by people within a company, so your email address will be visible to other blah, blah, blah. Uh, shouldn't be used, so yes. This is my business, let's say this is my work email. Okay, so just some more information. I don't know what happened, why it's in loop. Again. Let me check my email as well if they have sent any information. Looks like the sign up code has expired, so let's try one more time. So I received the code right away this time. to sign up yes sir okay this time looks like it worked they have sent a verification code on my email so I'm just checking my codes on my mobile because I don't want to open my email on this laptop and do it from here so let's just And let's use, uh, so just fill out this form. This code you would have uh, received on your email ID. I received on my email ID. So, 
two country or region I'm going to say India I say start and guys while it's loading if you're new to this channel and if you want to support me and if you like the video please go to the go to our website called cursor.run and please subscribe to our Facebook and Twitter channels that will help you and us both like whenever we upload new video or new blog post uh, you will get a notification right away so they say like invite more people share the benefits of others if you want to do uh, if you have other people on this domain and you want to ask them to you know try the thing you can do it now or we can do it later so I'll just skip so let's see So they're saying like they are currently uh, provisioning the trial environment that can take 15 to 30 minutes and we'll receive an email with a link to the environment and further steps. So guys what I will do is I will pause this video here and I will continue in a second. okay uh, a small update uh, it's been like 30 to 40 minutes already so what happened is like the page you, we were seeing like a uh, few minutes back uh, which was saying like the environment will be ready in 15 to 30 minutes that didn't happen but what happened is like uh, it just refreshed and went to this URL I think this is going to be our uh, d365 finance and operation application URL but it says like uh, environment not found and if I refresh nothing happens so I think in the background the system is still working on it's the environment is still in progress so in the meanwhile what I did is like I opened uh, I opened my Gmail account and I found like LCS team the lifecycle services team has sent an welcome email where they say how to get started and do all that kind of uh, all that kind of stuff so if you if I click on here like uh, you can click on guided tools to know more about the application but if I click here so where it takes me is like it takes me back to the page the status page I think the earlier what happened is timed out for this web session so that's why it said uh, let's take the user to the actual environment maybe it's ready but it didn't so uh, so it's still uh, going on so I will again uh, put you guys on pause for a second for a few minutes and whenever it's done I'll be back again uh, okay yeah it took around two hours uh, to move this uh, to move so far like now it looks like the environment is deployed so it's refreshing Yeah. Come on. Okay. So here you go. We have our finance and operation trial deployed. Uh, let's change the company. So guys, if you uh, if you are new, like, uh, or if you are a finance and operation technical or functional you know like the companies it comes with the demo data that's called Contoso data set that comes with few companies so if you uh, most people just work in this US01 or USMF so if you change your legal entity or company so these are, might be based on your different companies or different countries etc so yeah looks perfectly fine to me 
So uh, guys, one thing, uh, so one correction here. So uh, in the in the starting, I was talking, I was thinking like we might need a Azure subscription, but it looks like we don't need uh, we don't need Azure subscription here. <coughs> Okay, so we don't need Azure subscription. So that's out. You just need a working email ID and that's it. And you get your environment up and running. And for this one guys, like create Azure DevOps project and link it to the lifecycle services project. Uh, I already have a video and a blog post on this thing. So what I will do, I will, uh, give a link somewhere here in the info card or in the description itself for the blog post. So if you want to see how to connect your Azure DevOps to the lifecycle services project, you can uh, follow that blog post uh, or the video. So yeah, looks fine to me. So let's see uh, how the users looks here. But yes, guys, it took around three hours like I post the video somewhere in between and it might the time might differ for different countries or different regions maybe sometimes Microsoft servers are busy so they might take some more uh, more time so uh, if you see like uh, they are uh, dummy users you can say so when you install a new environment you always whoever the user installing uh, the environment becomes admin so if we click on the admin record, it opens a details page for the admin user. So yeah, looks like uh, lo we are logged in as our Rahul at rahulsharma.in account. So let's see one more thing. If, sorry. So I will open one more in private session just to see how to log into the environment. Let me sign out. Say that's a good practice to close all windows. So what we'll do, we'll open it again. And we need this. I'm wondering so just if you go back to the video and if you see like when we were registering for the trial uh, we did choose a password so use the same password password uh, that we gave in the study so uh, I think that's it for now uh, yeah, looks good to me. So guys, again, uh, if you like the video, if you like the content, please subscribe to the YouTube channel and follow my blog on Facebook and Twitter. Take care. See you next time. Bye-bye.